Okay, so I'm gonna go over the cranial bones with you guys. Now, I'm gonna use this one to introduce you to the cranial bones. However, I want you to keep in mind that this is not what we're gonna be using on your practical. This skull, this type of skull, is the one that you're gonna see. Um, I'm just gonna go over the cranial bones in this video and we are gonna go over the landmarks in another video. So on this skull, you need to know this bone over here, which is the frontal bone. And then we're gonna have the parietal bone, occipital bone, and this one over here is the, the temporal bone. Um, now, the bones are gonna be divided by these lines over here. These are called the sutures. The sutures kind of bring them together. So the frontal bone and the parietal bones are attached by the um, coronal suture. Remember coronal, this is like whenever you're cutting in the coronal um, way, you're gonna cut this way. This is the coronal or frontal. This one's going to be the sagittal suture. Remember sagittal cut, it divides into left and right. This one is going to be the lambdoidal suture. And this over here is the squamous suture. Now squamous in anatomy means flat. This is a flat region of the skull. So we call this the squamous suture. The squamous suture attaches the temporal bone to the parietal bone. Now looking at some of the facial bones, you're gonna have these two in front on top of your nose. Those are gonna be called the nasal bones. Um, the upper jaw, is the maxillary bone. On this particular model, we're missing the lower jaw, which is the mandible. This would be the mandible over here. Add this. Um, and then we're gonna have the blue, the zygomatic bone. These are your cheekbones. Now here's where it gets a little bit complicated. So you have nasal, maxillary, and right here, right behind the maxillary, you're gonna have the lacrimal bone. Lacrimal means tear. And this is um, where the tears are drained. This is the lacry lacrimal canal over here. And then on the inside, you're gonna have the ethmoid bone, the red. Now the ethmoid bone, if we take it out, it looks like this. So this is what it looks like when it's inside the skull. This is all you could see, the outer portion. But if I take it out, this is kind of in your nasal area, this is what it's gonna look like. And we're also going to have the sphenoid bone. So right here behind the zygomatic bone, you have part of the sphenoid. When you take out the sphenoid, this is what it looks like on the inside. Sphenoid looks like a butterfly. And here is what it looks like when you take it out. So here's the sphenoid. Um, you have to know these bones when they are separated. So the sphenoid, you have to know what it looks like by itself. I'll go over the landmarks later. Here's the ethmoid. It looks like it's like a bone that was crumbled what it really looks like. And also, you're gonna have the temporal bone, the purple, and if you take out the temporal bone, it looks like this. It's um, irregular shape, and it has a flat region. We call this the squamous region. And this is looking at the skull from the inside. So this is part of the frontal bone, Sphenoid, the butterfly, um, the, tem the temporal bones over here, the purple, and here's the occipital bone. Yep, that's it.